Okay, okay, hi guys! So, um, if you guys have not checked out the previous video where we made a dice, that will really help you um, during this tutorial. So in this one, as you can see, we're going to be making a domino, which is basically the same things as making a dice. It's just a little bit cooler um, and a little bit more fun. So we're going to explore that because it's going to kind of introduce us into what I hope will be making a walkie-talkie, which we are going to try soon. So um, first things first, let's make a new scene. And then go ahead and make a cube. I haven't made this in a while, so it's gonna be, I'm gonna be uh, experimenting with you guys. Um, I think dominoes are, are generally uh, very tall and not as wide. So let's just start with four. Actually, I'm gonna model this the other way. Let's make it that way. Let's start with four. Oh, here, I'll go ahead and change my background so you guys can see a little bit more. Give myself a plane. Let's make it a four by maybe like 0.5. Dominoes aren't very tall and maybe by like two. That looks like a pretty good domino size. Yeah, we can do four by two. So I would say for our width, you want your divisions pretty evenly. What is two? Okay. So as you guys remember from the dice video, you basically need four of the um, uh, faces in order to make a circle. And so for our domino, what I'm kind of thinking, maybe we'll do like a like a four three domino or something like that, um, which means that we're gonna need a lot of uh, divisions. So if we were gonna have a four on this side, you would need two, four, six faces going across. So let's go ahead and do that. I think that's this. Oh no, it's not. Make that one two. And then we'll do this one as six. There, that looks even. And then the width is gonna be two, four, six. And then maybe another couple. Let's try like ten. Okay, that doesn't look bad. I'm kind of thinking I might change that to be something else. So if you guys are understanding what I'm trying to get at, um, basically these are all going to be circles at some point. So you need them to be pretty even. Also, a domino has that natural line in the middle separating it. So one of these, we're going to need to make a line. So we basically need like an extra row for a line. So we need six for the circle, so two, four, six. Then we're gonna need an extra row, so that's seven, plus then another six on top of that. So actually, we're probably gonna need someone more like 13. Okay, so looking at this, I think the circles might be too, or the circles when you make the circle, it might be a little too small for the size of it. So I'm thinking, Maybe let's make it a six by four. No, too big, too big. Maybe a three or two and a half. You can totally feel free to play with this. Um, nothing's like super uniform. Um, okay, that looks a little bit better. So I think that's what I'm gonna stick with. So I did like a six by a 0.5 by 2.5 and then I did 13, two and six for my divisions. If you don't like that, I won't be butthurt. You can totally feel free to play with it and mess with it as much as you want to. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through and we're gonna make our circles. So let's make this side a four. So that's gonna be those guys. This'll be our four. And then this can be our three. So maybe we put like the three here. There we go. And make sure you got this line in the middle because we are going to be making that line. All right, if you guys remember from the dice video, what you do next is you extrude. You're gonna offset it in by 0.5, or 0.05. This one's a bit smaller. If you remember in the dice video, we made it um, 10 by 10. This one's a lot smaller. I would do 0.15, looks pretty good. So go ahead and circularize those and then change the twist. Mine is usually 45. Ooh, this one looks like it needs to be a little bit more. So maybe, maybe try 46. Maybe 
Maybe it's more of a 50. All right, that looks good. 50. Yeah, that matched up. I think. A smidge. Oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe it's 49. Oh, yeah. Weird. Okay, so if your twist doesn't do that, uh, awesome. I don't know why mine does that, but I just fix it. So go ahead and extrude again and then do an offset by, let's do, yeah, 0.05 looks good. And then um, extrude again and push it in negative, let's see if that looks good. Negative 0.1 looks pretty good. Yeah, let's keep that. Let's keep that. Okay, so do negative 0.1. Okay, so next what let's go ahead and do is select these interfaces. These guys, just do the four I think should be good. I don't remember. Dice aren't usually, or dominoes, don't usually have a super long um, streak in the middle. So this should be good. Um... If you want, you can make it longer. It doesn't really matter. Here, I'll go ahead and do that for you guys, just in case you guys are curious. Um, okay, so extrude that. You're gonna wanna offset it in. Hold control while you do it. Um, 0.1 looks pretty good. Yeah, and then extrude it again and push it into the mesh. The other ones were, I think we did negative 0.1. I believe we did negative 0.1. Yeah, that looks correct. So just push it in the same amount that you push the other holes in, so they're all even. All right, that looks good. So now what we're going to do is the same thing as when we're finishing up the dice. What we went through and did is we beveled the edges. So select all those edges on the outer ring because you don't want 90 degree edge. You want it to obey the three edge rule um, so that... There you go, perfect. So that you aren't running into any issues when you decide to texture it. Okay, control B is bevel, give it two segments. 0.5 looks good. Don't forget to bevel the bottom as well. A little easier to select since there's no crazy things on it. Do the same bevel, so just two segments. 0.5 is usually what I do, but this one looks a little weird at a 0.5. So maybe, maybe do it at like, Point one. Try and make it a little even. That looks pretty good. Okay, so let's see. If you go ahead and push three, you can go into object mode, zoom out. That's basically our domino. So super simple. If you guys, um, oh, I forgot to move it to the origin. Um, if you want to do that now, you can. My height is 0.5, so I would do half of that. So 0.25 and then it's on the floor. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked this, um, feel free to subscribe and like it. It's super simple. These objects are so much fun to make. So if you have any other ideas of what I should make, um, let me know. For our next one, we're actually going to be making a little bit more complicated of a thing. And that's going to be a sorry, um, game piece. So let me know if you guys are excited for that. I'm really excited to make it because they're super fun um, to do. So let me know what you think and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.